Hello, uh, my name is uh, Dr. Peter Murray. Uh, I'm a hand and microvascular surgeon and orthopedic surgeon at Mayo Clinic uh, in Florida. Uh, I'm here today to talk to you about uh, brachial plexus injuries. Uh, unfortunately, you may have uh, suffered or sustained a brachial plexus injury from a motor vehicle accident, a motorcycle accident, or a fall. Uh, if that's the case, uh, you may be wondering just exactly uh, what it is and what to do about it and where to go. Um, I'm here to tell you that uh, we have the resources here at Mayo Clinic in Florida and offer a multidisciplinary team to take care of your problem. First, let me explain a little bit about what uh, brachial plexus injuries are. Uh, in the neck, there are uh, five main nerves that come out of the neck, and we refer to them uh, with respect to the level of the vertebra in the neck. And they're named C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1. And quite simply, C5 uh, controls your shoulder, C6 controls your elbow, C7 controls your forearm and wrist, and C8 and T1, which are really the most important nerves, control your hand. Uh, if you've had this injury, you may have parts or all of those nerves not working currently. And it's a very concerning and scary uh, condition for the patient to have. Years ago, we really didn't have any way to treat these patients at all. Uh, today, we have a variety of techniques that may be able to help you. First, we can go in and actually repair the nerves, <clears throat> and that sometimes involves what we call a nerve graft from the leg. Uh, second, uh, sometimes we can transfer nerves that are working either inside the brachial plexus or in the arm uh, into nerves that aren't working. And third, we can move muscles either locally or distantly uh, into the arm to get your arm to work again. Uh, the important thing I want you to remember, though, is if you have a brachial plexus injury, it's very important for you to seek medical attention within that first six months of period of time. The six-month period is uh, important because actually when muscles don't receive nerve impulses, the muscles can actually start degenerating and dying. So it's very important that if we're going to reconstruct the nerves, um, that the muscles start receiving nerve uh, impulses somewhere around a year and a half. And during that intervening year between six months and a year and a half, that's how long it takes for the nerve to actually regrow from the point of repair into the muscle. Now, you might ask, well, my injury was two years ago, and I'm just now finding out exactly what the problems are. If that's the case, there are some late reconstructive options that we have. Earlier, I mentioned uh, muscle transfers. We can take muscles that may be working in your arm and make them do a different task. Or we can take a muscle uh, from the inside of the leg, for example, that you don't ordinarily have to have and make it a new biceps muscle by hooking it into the nerves in the chest wall and uh, the vessels that are still present in your arm to make an, an elbow bender, so to speak. Um, and then finally, um, the, the reason that it's, it may be important for you to come to Mayo Clinic is that uh, our multidisciplinary team approach that involves uh, pain specialist, uh, psychiatrist, occupational therapist, um, those group and this team is going to enable you the greatest chance of some sort of recovery for your upper limb because of the complexity of these injuries. If you have any more questions or concerns about this problem or would like to visit a physician here at Mayo Clinic, you can contact us by telephone or visit our website.